Have you always lived in Gwinnett County? No. How did you, how did your family end, how did your family end up here? I was born and raised here, then I lived in Greenville for eight years and moved back here. Back? Yeah. What made you want to move back? Uh, work. Work. What kind of job do you have? Marketing and advertising. And can you tell a little bit about your current living situation, what kind of place you live in, roommates, anything? I live in a one-bedroom apartment. Um, I don't know. Do <laughs> you need anything else about it? <laughs> Just, um, no, that's fine. <laughs> Do you, um, are you a renter or owner? Yeah, I'm, I rent. And when did you move in here? Uh, 11 months ago. What made you decide on here in particular? Um, really, because it was close to work at the time. Gotcha. <laughs> Have you ever invested in solar on your rooftop on your property as part of a business or a program through utility? Uh, no. Um, is there a reason why you haven't? No. <laughs> I mean, I, for me, I don't know that there's a cost-effective reason for me to do anything, really. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess if I owned a house maybe yeah but right do you think that they would consider it all in this complex uh probably not doubt it um if it were up to you would you so would do you feel like the choice not to have it like you've made that choice actively or it's just kind of you hadn't really thought of it or considered it um I would say that I haven't really thought or considered, you know, I mean, there's not, I don't know, it's not presented as like a like money-saving thing. Yeah. I have no idea if this is true or not, but I feel like it, it's expensive to do and kind of like a luxury thing right now. Yeah. Um, so, I just haven't even considered it. What, like, um... What would be some appeal to it that would make you consider it? Like, what kind of things would you want out of it? Uh, I mean, I think it's probably all great, but the cost, you know, just have to it's make like financially sense. Yeah, yeah, they made financial sense that I would do it in a heartbeat. And if it um, worked, <laughs> which I assume it does. Do you think that being a renter means that you can't have solar? Um... I would say primarily, yeah. So, would, if you had the option and it was like cost effective, do you think you would put it on your home? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Awesome. Well, now we're going to do these. We have two maps here. Okay. Uh, the first one's of the U.S. Okay. And what you're going to do is just circle or mark any places that you think probably use the most rooftop solar states, areas and states, you know, however, however you want to do it, just from what you know and your, and the way. Okay. So I can circle just more than one state? You can circle as many as you think, like, have a good amount. Done. Um, do you know what really does have the most? I know, surprisingly, I, after doing one, I looked it up and, like, well, I'll tell you after. Okay. Um, what, uh, what, why do you think those communities or those areas probably have solar? Um, I have no idea, to be honest with you. I just know, I feel like California, I just have a sense that it probably is because there's a lot of sunlight there, I would think. Um, and then I feel like in Nevada, I've seen a lot of it. And then I just circled the other ones because <laughs> they were close to those two states. <laughs> So you got Nevada, California. What other two are those? <laughs> New Mexico. I think that's, yeah, that's New Mexico. I think that's uh, uh, Colorado. No. Is that Arizona? No, that's Arizona, right? Ah. Uh, yeah. California, Arizona, Nevada, Utah, Utah, Colorado. Colorado is probably a bad circle, but I'm sticking with it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It's actually a terrible one. I um, feel like snow would impact all this, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what do you think... But, but there are other places that have a lot of sunlight, so what do you think about the people in those areas that would make them utilize it more than other states? Um, they're probably more environmentally conscious than we are, in the South at least, and then um, really... I think that they're more environmentally conscious than us down here. My guess is Texas probably, um, given their oil and wind stuff, probably doesn't do too much solar. I could be wrong about that. One. And then, like, the Northeast, I would assume that weather would be not as great up there. But I don't know. And uh, why do you think... What do you think plays a part in being environmentally conscious? Conscious? What do you uh, being aware or being educated on it. So you think people out west are probably more exposed? Yeah, in yeah. Netherlands, so it's bigger. Yeah, problem. yeah, I would think so. Is there anything else you think makes people out in the areas we circle different from the people in Georgia or Gwinnett County? No. All right, so you're, um, we have another map of this one's of Georgia, and you're basically going to do the same thing, but... Okay. Choose what areas in Georgia you think utilize the most rooftop solar. Uh, hmm. That's all. That's all. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I guess you could circle more. Um, no, I mean you don't have to. That would, would be the that general would. area where I would think the most is. And that's just pretty much the metro. The metro, and then um, out to Athens only because I know that there's a company somewhere in Athens that sells it. So. I don't know. If they're based out of there. It must be a lot of business between there and Atlanta. Yeah. And so, does that mean is Gwinnett County a part? Yeah, that's Gwinnett right there. Okay. Um. So why? Tell me why you think people in those areas have the most uh, rooftop solar on, on their homes. Um. I think the same answer. I chose the other ones. Education and then money, um, and, and I would guess that the demographics in those area is more care more about that than the rest of the the state. Yeah. Have you seen um, panels on homes around in Gwinnett at all that you've noticed? Uh, no. Do you know? Do you know anybody who has solar rooftop in or out of Georgia? No. No. Why do you think that they do or don't? Have you ever discussed? Um, no, but I mean, my guess is, and I might be wrong about this today, but historically it's been, like, cost prohibitive. It doesn't make sense to do it. It's, um, I guess if you're wealthy and you want to do that, um, Maybe you do it, but if, for the average person that I know, I mean, if it's not saving you money, if it's costing you money to do something yeah. like that um, and a burden on you, then it doesn't make much sense. Especially if it's, like, a lot up front and you don't see it. Yeah, but I know they do, like, I know the way they sell them is they, like, lease them to you or something crazy like that. So it's still, I mean, I've seen stuff where they say that it's, like, I don't know, called like 500 bucks a month or something I don't know what it would be but where it doesn't seem like it's that much crazy right. but it's still it's like you got this leased equipment all over your house that's not really well it's more than your yeah it's not saving you money yeah um, so it just like adds another burden and maintenance burden to you yeah um, something else to deal with for not much reward outside of the environmental stuff which think is kind of a luxury for most people to think about yeah. and in that terms at least <laughs> <laughs> and my dog thinks the same thing apparently <laughs> yeah, agrees wholeheartedly yes um have you ever been to the place that's in Athens that sells them uh no I sold them advertising actually like I guess probably two years ago um, for uh, what I'm uh, I'm blanking on the name of the company. Um, you sold them advertising. Yeah, yeah. What were you? 
like general messaging and advertising in Gwinnett County. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you do you remember what you did for them? Um like how they wanted you to promote it or anything? Yeah, but I can't I mean I can't really <laughs> Well, wait, I don't this know is really companies. interesting. I don't know how many companies are there, and if there's only one, I can't really talk about. It, you know what I mean? So, what did did you learn anything about solar that you didn't know before by doing that? Um, no. Nah, I mean, I don't see. I don't. I don't do anything besides make sell it and then help on help get with work with them to kind of understand what their target market is and who, who they want to see what they're advertising so um, I don't really mess with the messaging thing so to okay. me I just see it and then I'm like okay I just gotta find say 35 year old females in Gwinnett County that's the extent of it that I I, gotcha. I, gotcha. I just look to try to find those people rather than speak to those people so right well cool what kind of characteristics of adopters do you th- that you think are different than non-adopters of solar energy um like any care like what what do you mean by characteristics if you had to generalize like uh my guess would be they're above average income above average education probably higher than bachelor degree education for the most part I would guess um, I don't know is there any <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's fine um, do you think I don't know so you think it comes down to education and, and money primarily yeah yeah I mean probably there's got to be something with location, right? Like, it's got to be more feasible in some areas than not. So that probably has a huge impact on it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I think.